Hi everyone, so I'm so excited for our video today because I have some goodies from Lisa Aldridge with me today and let's open them together because that's just so much more fun. Okay, so let's open the box and we have everything inside here. So I have the Liberty Fabric pouch that she recently released and it actually looks quite pretty in person and I love the graphic design that we see here. And I'm actually quite surprised to find out that the material here is actually made of cotton because it doesn't feel like cotton to me. So the weaving of this must be very, very tight. It almost feels like a nylon kind of a cloth, which is actually great. And because this is cotton, so this means it's going to be very easy to clean. I can just put this like, you know, into the washing machine, especially if like, you know, some makeup products spill inside. I really love it. Look at the beautiful detailing that you see here of course the l logo of lisa is still there that we have like you know the zipper pull with her logo fantastic it's actually very pretty you have the pinks here the oranges and the beiges and this is like a nice burgundy color for accent it's actually very pretty so like the color of the uh, of this graphic here is almost the same color as her logo here so that's actually very pretty ah i'm so glad i was able to get this and uh for sure as you guys can see it's actually bigger than her previous like you know cosmetic bags that she would give out to her customers especially if you purchase products like you know that qualifies you to get this for free but i think if i remember the price correctly um it's 48 pounds if you do decide to buy this alone and the fabric inside it has this very nice burgundy color, which is roughly the same as the L here. Oh, it's very pretty. I love how spacious it is. And I actually love the way that it keeps its shape. I like bags like these, like, you know, that's able to stand by itself. And I love that it's like, you know, almost rectangular. Hmm, very pretty. So I'm glad for this. Thank you for this gift and purchase, Lisa Eldridge. Okay, so what else do we have here? Okay, so I got the foundation um, card because I just love these. I, I keep it in my makeup kit all the time because like, you know, sometimes um, like, you know, when I'm working on set or on location, these things can be very useful for me, especially if I just get one blister pack and then bring it on set and I could just peel one off and use it to like, you know, retouch. So I really love those. And of course, we still have the uh, treatment cleanser. I love these sachets. I, again, as I've said in a previous video, I keep them in my makeup kit all the time. Okay, so I have one. Uh, gloss embrace and this is one of her newest um, colors that she released and this is called silent Sun look at the shine on that very pretty love the color okay I can't wait to try this out and I also got two of her luxurious lucent lip colors one is in the color Oh, look at it. It's very pretty. And this is in rosy shells. It has a very nice pinky hue to it. Very pretty color. And the other is called Lemipri. And it has a very nice, like, you know, warm tone brown kind of a lip color. Actually, it's very pretty as well. So I can't wait to try this out as well. And the last product that we see here that I hold from Lisa is actually one of her eyeshadow palettes because I was just like, you know, randomly checking up her website a few weeks ago and I saw that her eyeshadow palette in Sorcery was back in stock and this is one of her palettes which I was really attracted to and when um you know when this was first released this is one of the first palettes that I believe like you know got sold out immediately and I really waited for this because look at the color story of this isn't it so beautiful so we have this blue here amazing there are lots of greens i can't wait to try this out and of course we will be doing that in this video so let's get to know the sorcery palette together today Okay, so now it's time for us to play with the Sorcery palette. And of course, we still have this very nice, like, you know, um, eyeshadow palette case that, as Lisa said, was inspired from a very nice cigarette case. And what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to be swatching this on my arm so we just can see how well it looks on my skin. Okay, so I'm going to start by swatching from left to right on the top row, and then I'm going to start by swatching on the bottom row, left to right as well, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna start by picking up. Ooh, this feels very creamy. I'm actually so surprised by it. 
Okay, so this color here is called Troubadour. This is called Grotto. And this is called Madrigal. Look at the color payoff of all of these three colors. Do they look amazing? So Troubadour here has a very nice, like, you know, it's like a, it's a, it's a matte. But it's a very creamy matte. It's actually very easy to blend, especially when I just like, you know, rubbed my finger on it. Very nice colors. It's a very moody, like, you know, green color. Amazing. Okay, the next is Grotto. And this has a very nice, like, you know, peacocky green kind of a shade. And it has some shimmer in it, or pearls, as she likes to call it. And it just reflects quite nicely off of the pigments very pretty and the last here is called madrigal and it has a very nice like you know um sooty kind of a gold color which actually looks quite beautiful ah amazing color range amazing texture too i love it okay so let's watch the next three shades mm, i can i can feel the glitter on that Ooh, that was creamy and that was creamy too so let's watch these Oh, wow. Pam, pam. Mm, what an amazing blue that was. Okay, so this blue here is called Swan Song. So it's like, you know, it's almost matte, but it has like a nice shimmer. It's almost like satiny or like even foily to a certain degree. That's a very nice blue. I've been looking for a blue like that for a very long time. Anyway, so the this color here is called Mercurial. So it looks like it, it has a like shifty nature to the color of this. It looks like, like, you know, the shimmers, the pearls, like, you know, they look like they're silver. And then I can see like a hint of lavender when I just like, you know, roll my arm and shift, like, you know, when I shift it from left to right, the color shifts as well. That's actually a very nice, amazing color. And because of the, I think the purple or the violet tone on it, it's going to be a great, like, you know, accessory, especially if I'm using this color, Mercurial, with the other, like, you know, greeny tones on this palette. Amazing. And this color here is called Mage, and this is a metallic color. Again, also very foily, same as the blue um, eyeshadow here, which is Swan Song. But this one... Um, how would I describe it? So it looks like it's got some patina to it. You know, when the silver has like, you know, like aged a little bit. So it has like some, it it becomes moodier. That's, that's, the, that's the kind of color that I can see with this. And there's also a hint of green on it, I think. Or maybe it's just like, you know, my eyes playing tricks on me. I really don't know how I'm going to be playing along with this, but I'm very, very excited. Okay, so I actually want to try this color first. Swan Song, the nice blue eyeshadow here. And I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that on the tips of this brush. And I'm going to use it at some sort of like an eyeliner. And I'm going to lightly line my upper lash line with this all the way into the inner corner here. And I do have to say, look at that very nice color. And I love that the metallic pearls here is actually peeking through and it's just giving life into my eyes already. And instantly, it's also enhancing the color of my eyes. I really like this color. Look at that. So the formula was very easy to build. It was also very easy to apply. Of course, there is some fallout, but it's very minimal, but it's also expected because after all, this is a metallic eyeshadow. Okay, so I'm going to get more of this blue. And I'm going to apply this like on my socket line area. Just going to dab it so, so lightly and brush it along. I can see like the smoky tones of this blue coming out. And there's a very nice, like, you know, metallic shift as well. Okay, so let me just build the intensity here and just continue to smoke it out. And then I'm going to pick up a new brush and then I'm going to use this just to add more, like, you know, detailing work into my socket line. So that it can just really help build my shape. Okay. I love that very nice sooty blue that we're seeing right now. So I would like to be more playful with my eye look today. So I would just like, you know, pick up this nice, like, you know, metallic-y green color here. So this is called Grotto. And I'm just going to tap it 
here. Oh wow, I wasn't expecting this to be that metallic, but yeah, so this is just adding a very nice hint of like, you know, jewel tones into my eyes and it's just playing with the colors quite nicely, able to also layer it well nicely with the blue that I applied earlier. Okay, next I would like to use this like, you know, uh, very metallic, like, you know, lilac -y toned eyeshadow here. Now, I think this is the one that has a lot of shift on it. And maybe I should just like, you know, put this here. Oh wow, it's a very beautiful color. I love this color. Okay, I'm just going to pat it a little bit into the green metallic now. So that it just fades into that. Ooh, I love the shade. Very beautiful shade. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to use this, like, you know, very nice moody green. And I'm just going to be intensifying the outer V portion of my outer lids here. I'm going to bring that into my socket line. I want to build that as well into my, like, you know, transition. Because I think this will help more in creating a, like, you know, very nice lift for my eyes. Okay, so that's actually quite an amazing pigment payoff for this green color. And I also like how sooty it is. Okay, so let me just blend that out. Create a nice lift as well. So with the same green shade now, I'm just going to apply a little bit of that here on my lower lash line. And then I'm just going to create a teeny tiny flick there just to create a lift and then I'm gonna blend that into my upper lashes oh look at that pretty like you know really elongated my eye and lifted my eye and I love the intensity of this matte green shade amazing okay and now I'm just gonna add a hint of that like you know metallic blue okay and I'm gonna get this nice silvery shade here and I'm just going to use it here, like in the inner corner of the eyes. My, look at that. Very nice. You can know, pop of color. Then I'm going to blend that here into my lower lash line here. Then I'm going to go back and use the brush that I used earlier for this, like, you know, blue color. And then I'm just going to add more of that here just to connect the two colors together actually quite lovely okay so I am seeing that the blue has kind of like disappeared and they kind of blended into like the color tones of the eyeshadow so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get her eyeliner so let me just go get it and let me use the shade night forest from her seamless eye pencil I'm just gonna apply that here on my upper lash line and let me put that into my like you know water line and let me also put that into my lower waterline here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a hint of this metallic blue color here on top of that eyeliner. Just so that it deepens a little bit. And it just adds more intensity. And I have like a nice bespoke color. So it's like a green and blue eyeliner which I believe kind of works with this like you know drama on the eyes hmm fantastic look at that okay so let me just blend out the edges and I'm kind of liking how that looks and now I'm just gonna add some mascara because I think that will just really complete the look because this is very like you know playful eyeshadow look that I created on this eye and I think the black mascara here will just really tie everything together and it will also help create the lift on my lashes and that will just really add like you know some drama Ooh, look at that so let me add a little bit here on my lower lashes okay so now I do have to say though that there is always like you know fallout but it's very minimal as you guys can see here on the tissue I don't think you can see it clearly 
but I think you can see it here on my upper cheeks now, which I'm going to remove a little bit later. And that's always the case when you're working with eyeshadows that have a lot of like, you know, shimmers in them. Because as you like, you know, continue to buff, um, you know, the colors into the eyes, the shimmer will always find a way of flicking from your eyelid. Okay, so let's try another look on this eye, like, you know, just for fun. Okay, so on this eye, I would like to use like this, like, you know, blue eyeshadow color here. And let me just pick this up with this brush. And then I'm going to had it all over my eyelids until I get the shape that I want. Oh, look at that. What an amazing blue. Okay, so I'm just going to bring the color a little bit into my socket line here. And let's try to buff that out. Mm. Mm, it's a very nice blue. Look at that. How lovely. So my eye color is already popping out. So let's continue. So let me apply a little bit of that here into my lower lash line. I'm just continuing to build intensity here and I'm making it very nice and sooty and smoky. Okay, now with the blending brush, I'm just going to blend out the edges. Of course, create a nice lift. Just so we have a very nice, like, you know, angular, smoky eye. And I kind of like the fact that it's giving me a very nice, like, you know, 70s, like, you know, late 70s, early 80s kind of a vibe. I actually love it. Okay, so now let me just pick up this lovely gold eyeshadow color here and let me apply that here in the inner corner of my upper lash line. Ooh, what a lovely tone that is. And let me also bring that here into my lower lash line. And let me just bring more of that gold into the blue. The yellow tones of the gold will just like really pop with a blue eyeshadow and just give it some drama. Then if I apply some mascara, it just brings everything together. Okay, so now just as a finishing touch, I'm going to add Lisa Seamless Glide in Black Treacle here on the lower lash line and also here on the upper lash line because I think that will just bring everything together and we'd have this very nice dramatic sooty eye look. And look at my eye color it's really popping out look at that fantastic okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna remove like you know the fallout like you know, it's not a lot but I'm actually quite surprised on how like you know smoky this eye is and I don't really have a ton of fallout happening right now okay so let's apply some makeup Okay, so foundation is down. Now, what I want to do is I actually want to apply some blush first. Now, I want to use a different kind of color blush on this side of my face and another color on this side. So, on this side, I'm going to be using the NARS um, Liquid Blush in Orgasm. And the main reason why is because the color Orgasm does a very nice orangey tone to it. It will work very well together with this eyeshadow look because it will just really help to make the eyeshadow pop nicely. I'm just concentrating the color here on the highest points of my cheeks and I'm just going to build a little bit of some intensity and the colors really complement each other well mainly because like you know of course you have like you know the orange tone of the orgasm blush and of course it has some gold flecks in it so it just really helps and ties in together with the blue tones of this eyeshadow from Lisa. Mm, fantastic look at that. <laughs> Okay, so now on this side of my face, I'm going to use the color Dolce Vita because this one has a nice pinky tone to it. And of course, because it's pink, it will work very well with the green tones of this eyeshadow. Then I'm just going to blend everything. Okay, so this is how the blush in Dolce Vita looks like beside the green eyeshadows of Lisa's palette. What do you guys think? Is that so pretty? Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to add some concealer and I'm just, you know, just to help to brighten up everything in the under eye area. And I'm going to be using my Hourglass um, Concealer. I just got this recently, so I'm still continuing to try it out to see if I like it. So I'm just going to add that here. Um, what I have found out with this 
um, concealer from Hourglass is that it can get quite like you know um, opaque if you add it straight from the doe foot applicator so I do suggest that like you know you build it slowly like you know to the coverage that you need just so that it doesn't overpower your under eyes instantly okay so my concealer is down and I've already like you know blended it well into the blushes and I believe that everything is looking quite nice so I'm gonna just set my face with some powder now the thing is when you're wearing smoky eye looks you really have to make sure that your under eye area is actually well well covered so that like you know there's no like you know shadowy tones coming out because it just really helps to make your eyeshadow look like you know very dramatic and very sexy if you know what i mean and i'm just gonna powder the rest of my face <music> of the blush because I think the powder kind of like killed it a little bit. I'm not adding any more of the blush by the way so whatever is left here on the brush is what I just actually used and I'm also going to do that here. Then I'm just going to comb my brows a little bit. I'm not going to draw it in because my eyes is already quite dramatic so I don't want to close everything in. I'm just gonna brush everything into place. Okay, so now I want to try some of her luxuriously lucent lip color, and I'm gonna try and use the color rosy shell first. And I'm just gonna apply this all over. Mm, now this has a very nice, like, you know, very soft pinky tone to it, which I actually like, and it kind of works well with like you know the smoky green eyeshadow that I created very nice the color very brightening i love it it's almost like a bubblegum pink kind of a color it's actually quite pretty hmm. it even works with the blue um smoky eye look can you see that and this is how it looks like with a green smoky eye look hmm. nice color fantastic okay so let me just remove this and now let me try the color Le Mepri. So this one has a much more beigey tone to it. What a nice color. Oh, this actually works very well as well with these two eyeshadow looks. If you want a nude lipstick, look at that. This is actually a very lovely color. I like this color. Well, it took me so long to get this. Look at that. So it has a hint of warmth in it. It's got a hint of orange in it. And it actually works very well with this blue eyeshadow look as well. Look at that. What do you guys think? Do you approve? Okay, so this is how it looks like paired with the green tones on this um, eye palette. Very nice. This is a very nice color. I like this. Lemepri. So if you guys are into like, you know, very nice nudie lip colors and it's not super opaque and you want it to have like this very nice brightening effect then this lip color is for you. And as an ending, let's try and add a little bit of this like you know, lip embrace in Silent Sun on top to add more shine. All right, so I believe we have come to the end of my vlog for today. So um, I hope that you guys enjoyed me showing you how I created this very nice blue smoky eye look and this very nice green smoky eye look using Lisa's Sorcery palette. And I do have to say though that this is a very playful palette. So if you are going to purchase this, make sure that you're actually gung-ho and ready to paint the town red because this is not for the faint-hearted. And also one other thing, um, when you are using these eyeshadow colors um, just make sure that you like you know build up the intensity because there's a certain um, point wherein when you start to build in the color when the magic happens where in the like you know you get the right amount of pigment and then you get the right amount of shimmer and then they just like you know all work together so that's just basically how I could describe this palette and it's actually very very pretty and I actually enjoyed this color here this very nice like you know pink yet lavender purpley toned eyeshadow it actually works very well it's super pretty I actually love it and that's blue here oh my gosh look at this blue eyeshadow you guys look at that look how pretty that is 
and mind you like you know when you just blend the right amount you can get a light shade and then when you add more like you know if you build more you get this very nice like, you know sooty kind of a blue but you still get a lot of like you know this um shimmer and glitter that just gives life into the eyes which is actually so fantastic yeah and also one other thing i hope that you guys enjoyed me showing you like you know the lip colors Le Mepri and um rosy shell and I think that the, like, you know, luxuriously lucent lipsticks of Lisa are also an amazing, amazing um, product from hers. And they just kind of like give life and brightness into the lips. And of course, the Gloss Embrace in Silent Sun, it's actually a very nice color. So it's on like a very nice transparent base with a hint of like, you know, gold pearls on it, which just acts as a very nice, like, you know, topper. Like if you have this very nice lip color that you like to wear and you just want to add a hint of glossiness on top of it, without changing the color drastically then this is a nice um, color to have in your collection okay so that's it um, if you guys have any more questions about how I am using all the products of Lisa today so please let me know that in the comments box and then let's have a conversation about it all right okay so I'm gonna let you guys go now I hope that you enjoy this video thank you so much for watching thank you so much for being here and I hope that you're having a good day wherever you are bye